When someone close to you dies, a family member dies, and you're in charge of taking care of their affairs, here are three things that you need to know about wills in the state of Texas. First of all, there is no official place where the wills are kept. So where is the will? My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who's been practicing probate law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. So for more than 35 years, people have called me up occasionally and said, my loved one has died. Do you have the will? No, most attorneys don't keep the original wills because we don't know when the person is going to pass away, whether they've moved away, whether they've made a new will. We could be stuck holding hundreds of wills for the rest of our lives and not know what happened to the person who made this will. So whenever we make a will in our office, we give the person the original and a photocopy of the will that they signed, and they take it home with them that very day that they sign it. And I always tell them, put it in a safe place and make sure your executor knows where to find it. Because you can file a will for safekeeping at the courthouse, but most people don't. And there's no tell where they could keep their important paper. It could be in a file cabinet, it could be in a fireproof safe, it could be in a safe deposit box down at the bank. You need to have that conversation with your loved one before they die and ask them, where do you keep your important papers? Where do you keep your will? How will we find your will when you passed away? Secondly, you need to know that the wills are not normally read like you see on TV or in the movies. You always hear that there's going to be a reading of the will where the lawyer sits down and explains to the whole family at one time who gets what. I don't know where they do that, but they don't do that in Texas. At least I have never seen it done in Texas. And so what happens generally is the person who's in charge of the estate finds the original will, files it at the courthouse, gets appointed, and when they start distributing property, then they give a photocopy of the will to the person who is receiving property. If you're not receiving property, you may never see that will. And it's only 90 days after they're appointed that the executor has to tell the court that they've given a photocopy of the will to people and let them read it on their own. Thirdly, you are not in charge until a judge signs an order that says you're in charge. That will is not a valid will until a court says it's a valid will and that doesn't happen until after the person has passed away. So don't go taking the original will down to the bank and say, here, bank teller, it says right here that I'm supposed to receive this money. They're not a judge. They're not supposed supposed to be interpreting that will, they can't tell you if that will complies with current law. And it doesn't matter what makes common sense or what clearly that person intended to do if it doesn't comply with current law. And not only that, it's not the law that was in effect at the time that the will was written. It could have been a perfectly valid will 20 years ago when it was written. The only law that matters is the law now at the time of their death. Does that will comply with the current law? So if the legislature goes crazy and passes some stupid law that says that all wills have to be written on purple paper and your will is not written on purple paper, then you don't have a will. The will isn't any good. It doesn't matter what it says. It has no effect whatsoever because it wasn't written on purple paper. And that's why you don't want to do it yourself. That's why you need to consult with an attorney who practices law in the state of Texas and who knows what the current law is and what has to be in the will, what the will has to say and what the will has to have in it in order to be a valid will in the state of Texas, because it may look like it makes perfect sense. It may be something that was valid five years ago. It may be something that would be perfectly valid in another state. But if you're going to probate that will in the state of Texas, it has to comply with Texas law or it's not any good at all.